that's a great story, right? Uh, two freshmen come in, uh, Victoria and, and Emma. And, you know, I didn't know it was happening, but Victoria reached out to Emma and said, hey, do you want to have a Bible study together? Emma and I came in as freshmen together and instantly became best friends. I mean, I, I had no idea this was going on, and they would meet together and have a Bible study. And then, as I understand it, you know, Victoria was burdened for Emma and just began to share the gospel with her through the Bible study. And as we were working through the gospels, um, Emma realized that she wasn't truly saved. You know, one day Emma said, Vic, do you think I'm saved? And, and you know, Victoria says, well, let's explore that. And she was able to um, give her life to Christ that year. I think it was the day or two after Emma uh, came to know the Lord in a personal relationship. Um, she comes to me and goes, Coach, guess what happened? I said, what? She said, I got saved. And I said, well, tell me about that. And then she shared how Victoria had really reached out to her and had on purpose come alongside her and just to make sure that you know she belonged to the Lord. And so I tell you, from a coach's perspective, better than any national championship. That was our biggest blessing. And then last spring we got to go watch Emma get baptized at her at her church. And so most of the team was able to go there and actually see her get baptized. Uh, again, those are things that uh, keep me coaching. The national tournament is always really exciting. It's the best time of the year, and especially being there last year, I was super excited and practically just bouncing off the walls. And then we came out to warm up, and we had six minutes left, and we were doing our hitting warm-ups, and I went for an outside hit, and I jumped, and I came down and landed. I didn't land on anybody's foot, no ball. I just landed, and I ended up dislocating my leg. I mean, she tore everything she could tear in that. Uh, it was pretty traumatic for the team to watch our best player on the floor. It took 20 minutes for the EMT to get there and take care of her. And I immediately knew that it was pretty bad, but I didn't realize quite ex how extensive it was. We got her to the hospital, and we saw the extent of the injury. Saturday the next day, we made it to the finals, and Victoria came in her wheelchair and was there to cheer the team on for the championship match. After surgery, it was a lot more difficult just um, learning how extensive the damage was and a lot of questions of whether I'm actually ever going to play again. You know, there's a whole truth that maybe I shouldn't even really be walking this well now. She's not on the court this year, uh, but she definitely is still a very important part of our program. In all my years of coaching, I've only had two other chaplains I've assigned. I don't give that role uh, easily, and I, I don't give it to just anyone. And again, because she's peer-to-peer, -peer, um, she is able to minister to the young ladies in a way that, uh, you know, if she was playing this year, she wouldn't have that opportunity. Victoria's always been other-centered, and even in a time where she was in a lot of pain and it could have been very self-absorbed, she kept focusing on others. Uh, great testimony for all the other players, and uh, she's had great opportunities to reach out to other players on other teams who have been her. Again, because she's gone through such a traumatic time in her own life, uh, she's not wasting that. She's using that for an opportunity to minister to other people. Learning that His grace is enough that I can be broken, and in that brokenness, He'll shine through me, and that that's just a bigger opportunity to reach others because in my perfectness, like, I'm not going to reach anyone, but in my brokenness, that's when God can show his strength and show the world. Uh, there's that verse in Corinthians to talk about how you can comfort others with the same comfort that you've experienced, and I've seen that really lived out. You know, that's the truth in action. It's been fun to watch.